hello everyone welcome in my channel asp.net core today i'm going to show you how to set primary key in a table using fluent api uh, you know very well about uh, conventions of the uh, database table if you uh, if you are using data notations uh, in a model table then the default id and uh, the class name or you can say the model name with the ID property is the key of the table. But if you want to set another column as a primary key, then what you can do? So you uh, you have it, uh, options to set a primary key uh, by using data notations. Like uh, you, ca uh, you can uh, add a key attribute just before the name of the property in a class. Another options you have like vehicle registration number you want to set as a primary key in a vehicle info class then you can use fluent API to do this. So in a data context class use override with own model creating method by using model builder class you have to set entity with the class name like the uh, vehicle info. So here we have entity and the class name is uh, vehicle info okay now set uh, has key attribute or you can say has key method uh, in a fluent api the whole thing you can say fluent api in entity framework core so by using s dot vehicle number is a set as a primary key of the table so uh, just after that you have to add migration in the project like add migration and the migration name uh, first of all check uh, default migrations applied uh, that is the first and the initial so you can uh, give to the name that is second and uh, up, just after that you have to uh, update your database that's fine after update the database you have to check your table configuration or you can say table schema where uh, the id property of the table is that is you also check your uh, migration table that is vehicle info primary key vehicle info of x tends to x vehicle registration number and if you want to check in the table uh, so select table definition where you can see uh, the primary uh, key of the vehicle info uh, class is vehicle registration number. So thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to entity framework core and the fluent API because in this series I will show you the complete things of uh, fluent API. So please don't forget please subscribe my channel and like this video. Thank you very much.